Hello, welcome to the introduction to this new series uh, here on my channel. Uh, in this series, I'm going to be covering how to make this little game here. Uh, as you can see, we've got um, player one, which is blue. Uh, we've got the information panel with the player score and the player name. We won't be covering UI design. As you can see, it's very basic, but I will be showing you how to set it up. So, uh, so each player has their own UI info panel. Uh, and you can see here that we've got, I'm on the keyboard here with this player. Uh, I can join in with a second controller and we've got the green player and then suddenly coins start spawning and each player has their own information panel, their score is tracked independently. Uh, we cover how to make the coins spawn smarter so they won't spawn inside the geometry or inside each other. This supports up to as many players as you want really. Uh, here I am on a third controller, player purple got my own score and it is drop out as well so I can press back on the controller and I can drop out you'll also notice that um, player one uh, the camera is following player one as soon as we had a second controller uh, as soon as we had a second character in the camera now tracks the middle point between the two players if we add in a third controller, the camera again adjusts and it'll find the middle point between all three players. So each player is kept on screen um, at all times. The full series is already up available on my Patreon. So you can head over there now and you can watch all of the parts. It's all, it's all up there. If you don't want to become a patron, that's completely fine. I'll be uploading each part uh, one a week here on YouTube. So what am I actually going to cover? In part one, this is going to be the project setup. Uh, we're going to create our project. We're going to set up the new Unity input system. Uh, we're going to get the player moving and we're going to enable just initial basic co-op play. Uh, there are a lot of bugs with the built-in kind of out-of-the-box co-op play, so we will be fixing that. That's kind of the point of this series. In part two, we're going to be setting up the drop-in aspects of our drop-in, drop-out co-op. Uh, we're going to configure the game manager, configure the input manager. We're going to set up the player join and leave inputs, and we're going to enable the ability to drop in. In part three, we're going to be setting up the drop out element. Uh, that'll include setting up a leave action. Uh, we can check which player is asked to leave. We can remove them from the player list, and then finally remove them from the game entirely. In part four, we're going to add some gameplay. So we're going to create a coin script, going to create a spawn manager, give the player a score, and then we can have the coins spawn randomly. Uh, because without gameplay, uh, having a hood is kind of irrelevant. So uh, we're going to add a responsive hood. Uh, we're going to create a UI manager. It's going to have the, we're going to create the player info panels, create the player join messages. Um, and then we're going to update those uh, panels and messages with the player name and their score. In part six, we're going to be going over how to create that dynamic camera where it follows the different players. Uh, we're going to make the camera follow the player initially, and then we're going to make the camera smooth uh, as it's moving around. And we're going to have the camera respond to multiple players. In part seven, we're going to be making a smart spawner. Uh, so we're going to create a helper script, which can be accessed in any other script. And that's going to make sure a spawn position is safe before spawning a coin. That's just to avoid coins spawning inside each other or the walls or the player. And that spawn script can be used for anything, not just the coins, because we're going to put it in a static helper script. Uh, so like I said, parts one through seven, they're already recorded. They're all up on Patreon and I'll be uploading um, them one a week here on YouTube. I do plan two more parts after this, uh, part eight and part nine. Part eight will be um, bug fixing. There are a few different bugs kind of as it stands currently that I want to fix. But before I go ahead and fix them, um, I want to see what comes up in the comments as well, just in case there's anything I've missed. So we can just do a one big bug fix kind of video to cover everything. So I'm not doing two and repeating myself. And then finally, part nine, uh, once all the bugs are fixed, uh, I want to go in and add a few like particle systems, effects, maybe some sounds. Uh, we'll update the UI to make it look a lot nicer. It was just very basic implementation at the minute, but proof of concept. But yeah, that's everything. Um, I'm quite excited about this series. I hope it will do very well on the channel. I hope it's going to be useful to a lot of people. If during the episodes, if you don't understand anything, leave a comment and I'll, I can do in between kind of like catch up videos if I need to, just explaining something a bit more in detail. And um, past parts eight and nine, which I've outlined, if there is anything else you want me to cover, make sure you leave a comment either on one of the videos or this video here. 
part one is now live on YouTube. So you can go ahead and watch that right now and get everything going. But that's all for now. I will see you all in the series. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when each part goes live. That's everything for now, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.